Okay, guys, good morning. Welcome to our class. This is our third class. This is our third class, so welcome. I hope that you are doing well. Espero que te vaya muy bien. I hope that you, you have had a good weekend. Que haya sido un fin de semana muy bueno. Uh, for today, we are going to work on a new topic. Okay, we are going to keep working with models. Vamos a seguir trabajando los models. We are going to work on two new models today. Most and have to. Okay, vamos a trabajar hoy en most y el have to. So, I'm going to share my screen. Voy a compartir pantalla. For start on that. Okay, guys. And today we are going to work on this part, lesson two. Right? Okay. Okay, Laura. Laura, in that case, if, if you have internet problems, you can uh, go out. Puede salir, no hay problema. You can keep. And later to watch the, the class. You see, if you have plans on the internet, chicos, recuerden que la clase que ha grabado, luego la pueden ver. Listo, o sea que por eso no parte no hay problema. Okay, I have to do my duties. Tengo que, tengo que, I have to, tengo que hacer mis deberes. So, this, this first part, we are going to listen to Liz, who is calling a popular radio program to talk about her problems and ask for some advice. Listen and circle the, the words she uses to describe the way she feels. Bien, chicos, en este caso vamos a escuchar a Liz, que está llamando a un programa radial para hablar sobre los problemas que, que ella tiene. Y ya va a pedir Profe. Un, unos consejos. Bien, bien, Laura. ¿Quién es, ¿Quién es el de la trapa sueños? No lo sé, ahorita, 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 ahorita les pregunto a cada uno quién es, ahorita cada uno participa. Ahí nos damos cuenta quién es. ¿Listo? Quieras. Entonces, chicos, let's listen and circle. Words she uses to describe the way she feels. ¿Ok? Okay. Let's listen. Hi, Nicolás. Welcome. Nicolás, we're working, we're working on page 54, página 54. ¿Listo? 54. Yes. 54, just size one. Okay, guys, please listen carefully. Escuchemos atentamente. Let us know about your experiences. We have our first guest. Hello? Hi, this is Liz. I would like to participate in today's program. Sure. Welcome, Liz. Tell us about your parents. Well, they don't understand me. They give me orders all the time and never let me hang out with my friends. I feel misunderstood. What do they say to you? They say all the time that I have many chores to do, but the truth is that I don't like to do any housework. I go to school in the morning, and that should be enough. I want to spend the rest of my time with my friends. Mom and dad are there to do the housework, not me. Oh, I feel so hopeless. They'll never get my point of view. Okay, wait a minute. Let me ask you some questions. Do you have to cook lunch or dinner? No, I don't. Mom always does. Do you have to go grocery shopping? No, I don't. Do you have to water the plants? Well, yes, perhaps twice a month. Do you have to wash your clothes? Well, not really. What about dusting the furniture? Yes, I have to, but my dad helps me do it. And who has to clean out the refrigerator? Mom, she always does it. And I guess you don't have to take out the trash. Am I right? You're right. And you don't have to sweep the floor? No, I don't have to. So, what exactly are your duties at home? Well, I have to walk the dog and clean my room, but I feel bored doing the cleanup. I don't like it. I'm young and I want to have fun with my friends, but my parents simply don't get it. They say I have to help at home first and then I can go out. Why? I'm their only daughter. They should let me live my life. I feel so angry and unhappy. All right, Liz. Thank you for sharing your problem with us. Now other listeners can call and give Liz some advice. Yes, who's speaking? Okay, guys, good. We, we listen to Liz. She have she feels really bad. She called to the to the program radio to talk. Okay, para hablar un poco sobre todo lo que ya está pasando. So let's check this word bank. Vamos a mirar qué es este word bank. Qué será misunderstood. Do you know what what is misunderstood? These are like some emotions. So en vocabulario como de emociones. Entonces qué será misunderstood. Que no la entienden, profe. That's right. Que no la entienden. No es comprendida. What about angry? 
What about angry? It's not bravo. Bravo, like angry birds. That's right. What about alone? Alone. Sola, que se siente sola. Sola, depressed. Eh, triste o oh, depresivo. Depresiva, triste. Ok, bored. Is bored. Um, she doesn't like anything. She doesn't have funny with anything. She's bored o boring. It's similar. Deja pasar que. Es... No, no, nada, 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 nada le complace. Todo le parece muy. Ah, pereza. Muy qué. Aburrido, pero. Aburrida, that's right. Desperate. Desperate. ¿Cuál? Desperate. This one. Desperate. Eh, es desesperada. Profe. Desesperada, ok. Hopeless. Sin esperanza, ¿qué? Sin esperanza, ok. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Corazón roto, profe. Ok. Ana, por Dios, ¿dónde está Ana y Nadelín y el resto? Tengo... 10 participantes en clase y no te escucho dos chicas. And the rest of the class, what happened? Frustrated. <coughs> what happened with the boys, chicos? Da, eh, ¿Dónde está Daniel? ¿Dónde está Betty? ¿Dónde está Nicolás? Presente. Presente. Frustrated. What about frustrated? ¿Qué está frustrated? Frustrado. Frustrado. Ok, tired. ¿Qué está tired? Cansada. Cansado. Disappointed. Disappointed. Decepcionada. Decepcionada. Okay, that's right. And okay. she names, uh, and she names, <coughs> sorry, and she names some of these ones. She names that she's misunderstood, she's angry, she's bored, she's hopeless, and she's unhappy. Okay, at home. She feels in this way. Ella se siente que, ella se siente que vive todo esto, que no la entienden, que es, lo que pasa es muy amargada, de pasa brava, aburrida, sin esperanza alguna ya, y se pasa muy infeliz, because she has to do some duties at home, solamente porque tiene que hacer algunas cosas en casa. Right? Ok, now, keep going. Vamos a, vamos a escuchar nuevamente. Y en este caso vamos, vamos a escuchar, and, let's, and please, listen carefully, because we need to know which one, if... Yes, and which one not? ¿Cuál de estas sí y cuál de estos no tiene que hacer ella en casa? Which duties? ¿Qué duties tiene que hacer y qué duties no tiene que hacer en casa? Entonces, por ejemplo, she have to clean, clean her room? Yes or not? She have to go to the grocery shopping? Yes or not? So please, listen again carefully. Vamos a ver otra vez. Atento, por favor. Chicos, por favor, todos, escuchemos para que podamos participar. ¿Ok? Listen again. This is calling a popular radio program to talk about her problems and ask for some advice. Listen and circle the words she uses to describe the way she feels. Welcome to Teens Issues, the radio program that teenagers love because it helps them find solutions to their problems. Today we're talking about an interesting topic, parents. How is your relationship with your parents? Good? Difficult? Complicated? Let us know about your experiences. We have our first guest. Hello? Hi, this is Liz. I would like to participate in today's program. Sure. Welcome, Liz. Tell us about your parents. Well, they don't understand me. They give me orders all the time and never let me hang out with my friends. I feel misunderstood. What do they say to you? They say all the time that I have many chores to do, but the truth is that I don't like to do any housework. I go to school in the morning, and that should be enough. I want to spend the rest of my time with my friends. Mom and Dad are there to do the housework, not me. Oh, I feel so hopeless. They'll never get my point of view. Okay, wait a minute. Let me ask you some questions. Do you have to cook lunch or dinner? No, I don't. Mom always does. That you have to cook lunch or dinner? Guys. Creo que no. No, she does not. Dad, dad or mom cooks her lunch and dinner, so don't. She doesn't. In this case, it would be note. In este caso, is note. Pretty good. Okay, keep going. 
Do you have to go grocery shopping? No, I don't. Do you have to walk? That you have to go to grocery shopping? No. No. No, I don't. Mom always does. Do you have to go grocery shopping? No, I don't. Do you have to water the plants? Well, yes. That you have to water the plants? Yes. Perhaps twice a month. Do you have to wash your clothes? Well, not really. What about the that you have to wash her clothes? That you have to wash her clothes? Guys, no. no, really. No, tampoco lo hace. No. Sing the furniture. Yes, I have to, but my dad helps me do it twice a month. Do you have to wash your clothes? Well, not really. What about dusting the furniture? Yes, I have to, but my dad helps me do it. Does you have to dust the furniture? Tiene que limpiar, limpiar todos los muebles y todo esto, o no? Limpiar el polvo a los muebles, o no? Guys, please listen again. Perhaps twice a month. Do you have to wash your clothes? Well, not really. What about dusting the furniture? Yes, I have to, but my dad helps me do it. Yes or not? Yes. Yes, but her dad helps her. Pero el papá le ayuda. So it's a part. Entonces no es tan, no es que yo se, 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 se lo tenga que hacerlo. Yes. Okay, keep going. And who has to clean out the refrigerator? Mom, she always does it. And, the, and who cleans out the, the, the refrigerator? That she does? Ella lo limpia? Chicos, ella limpia el, ella limpia el refrigerador? No, la mamá lo hace. No, uh, my mom always does that. That's right. Keep going. I guess you don't have to take out the trash. Am I right? You're right. And you... <laughs> She doesn't have to take out the trash. Oh. Did that she have to take out the trash? Yes or no? No. No. Oh my God. Oh. Your note. Keep going. You don't have to sweep the floor. No, I don't have to. So. <laughs> that you have to sweep the floor? That she have to have, that she have to sweep no. the floor? No, she doesn't. Okay, keep going. What exactly are your duties at home? Well, I have to walk the dog and clean my room. What does she have to do? That she have to clean, clean her room? Sí. Yes. 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 That's right, and she has to walk the dog. Right? So this is the only thing that she has to do. Right? So, listen. But I feel bored doing the cleanup. I don't like it. I'm young and I want to have fun with my friends, but my parents simply don't get it. They say I have to help at home first and then I can go out. Why? I'm their only daughter. They should let me live my life. I feel so angry and unhappy. All right, Liz. Thank you for sharing your problem with me. Okay, guys. So she only has to clean her room. Only have to walk the dog and only have to water the plants 20 months, the best for me, and that the furniture and her dad helps her. Is papa la ayuda. And she have to do this, this, that is before she, before she, 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 before, before she wants to go out, antes de que ya quiera salir. Right? So. Do you think, uh, do you agree that, that she feels misunderstood, angry, unhappy, complex, bored, only because she has to do these things? ¿Crees, ¿Creen que ella se, se, ella se debe sentir angry, misunderstood, bored, complex, unhappy, solo para hacer estas cosas? ¿Será que está bien o no? No. She only has to do something, algunas cosas, solamente hacer algunas cosas, y solo la obligan cuando debe salir. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, you have, do, do, do you have to do one duty and you have to and, and you answer yes or not? Okay. 
So for example, Nicolás, do you have to clean your room? Nicolás, ¿tienes, tienes que limpiar tu, tu cuarto? Do you have to clean your room? Más o menos. Ok. Yes, and what happened here? Ok. Ok, Dana, do, do you have to go to grocery shopping? ¿De, de, de ir a, a la tienda? Yo. Okay. Mm. Yes, eh, no. No, Not? ok. André, do you have to walk the dog? Andretti, Andretti, are you there? Okay, Andretti is gone. Dailimar, do you have to cook your, your lunch or dinner or, or even breakfast? Dailimar. Español. Do you have to cook your lunch, dinner or breakfast? ¿Debes cocinar? Yes. Yes, okay. And Nayelin, do you have to water the plants? ¿De regar, regar las plantas? No. Ok. Laura, do you have to clean out the refrigerator? ¿De limpiar la, la nevera? ¿Cómo? Porque casi no lo escucho. Debes limpiar Dana, la nevera. Dana, apague el micrófono. ¿Debes limpiar la nevera? ¿Cómo? ¿Debes limpiar la nevera? No. Ok. Eh, Julián. Do you have to do the furniture? ¿De limpiar los muebles? Julián. Do you have to do the, the furniture? Hello. ¿Tú debes dar the furniture? ¿Tú debes limpiar los muebles o no? ¿De qué habla? Los duties que cada uno. Hace. Por Dios, los duties, los deberes que cada uno tiene en casa. Tú debes limpiar, por ejemplo, los. Es los que muebles. se acaba de meter. Ah, ok, perdón. Bueno, Julián, pero de, de, de limpiar muebles en casa o no? Julián. Eh, ¿Sí o no? Sí, realmente veíamos. Me... 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 Dígale a los gemelos que apaguen el micrófono así y que lo prenda el que vaya a hablar porque se escucha el eco así muy okay. feo. Julián, tell me yes, right? Julián dijo que sí. Ok, Julián, thanks. Uh, José, do you have to sweep? The floor, ¿debes, eh, debes barrer? José, yeah. do you have to sweep the floor? ¿Tú debes barrer el piso? ¿Hacer aseo? Uh, yes. Yes, ok. Daniel, do you have to clean your room? ¿Debes limpiar tu cuarto? Daniel. Uh, sorry, pero tengo un pequeño problema de audio, ya viene. ¿eh? Sí, claro, tengo que Daniel, do you have to clean, to clean your, your room? Sí, señor. Ok. And finally, Jolmar. Jolmar, do, do you have to, to wash your clothes? De, de la, lavar tu ropa? ¿Por eso? ¿Tú de lavar tu ropa? Eh... Yes or not? No? ¿Tú lavas tu ropa o no? Ah, yo no sincero, yo no la lavo. No, okay. la lava. No, la lava. Okay, gentlemen, good. Okay, guys. Everyone has different duties at home. Cada uno, cada uno tenemos diferentes deberes para hacer en casa. Okay? And the right, lo correcto es también ayudar. Not only mom, not only dad, not only your brothers, not only, you, only, you also have to help. También debemos ayudar, okay? Okay, guys. So, for today, we have the, have the models, have to and must. Okay? And remember that, that have to express express an obligation imposed by a rule or situation. It is in X negative for X express that X not necessary to do something. Entonces, recordemos que el have to, si lo llamamos al castellano, va a ser el tener que. Esa es una imposición de algo que debemos hacer. ¿Listo? En su forma afirmativa, yo lo encuentro con el, si le si empleo con el I, con el you, con el we, con el they, encuentro el have to. El have, el verbo en el have. Entonces, have to, por ejemplo, you have to walk the dog. Es, una, es un duty que tú tienes una obligación para hacer y tienes que hacerlo. Es una imposición, eso es su obligación. You have to walk the dog. Debes salir, debes esto, sal, 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 sacar el perro a, a pasear o a, a que haga sus necesidades afuera. But if we talk about he o she, si hablamos de él o de ella, empleamos has. She has to cook dinner. Por ejemplo, 
Daily has to cook at home. Daily tiene que cocinar en casa. She has to. She has to. But, but, but for example, if we talk about the, uh, for example, Daniel and I don't know, Nadelin, they have to. They have to clean their rooms. Ellos. Entonces, como hablamos de ellos, we use have to. Okay? For the negative, para la parte negativa, para negarlo, para decirle que, que no se debe hacer, perdón, que no se debe hacer, que algo que no se debe realizar como tal, we use don't. Digamos don't. They don't have to go grocery shopping. Ellos no tienen que ir a la tienda. Don't. We use the, we use the same auxiliary like in simple present. Don't. Okay? And if we talk about he or she, we use doesn't. She and the bird is going to be in the base form. Y, y como ya empezamos el auxiliar, mi verbo va a quedar en su forma base. En este caso va a quedar have. Remember the, the rules for the simple present. Acá aplican las mismas reglas para el presente simple. En su forma, en su forma de pregunta, <coughs> perdón, en su forma de pregunta, vuelven a, a entrar otra vez los auxiliares. Tenemos que para el I, para el you, para el we, para el they, empleamos do. Do I have to does the furniture? <coughs> ¿Tengo que limpiar yo los muebles? Does she have to clean up the, the refrigerator? ¿Ella tiene que limpiar el refrigerador? ¿Será que ella tiene que hacerlo? What do we have to do? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer nosotros? And what does she have to do? ¿O qué tiene que hacer ella? ¿Ok? This is the part of the have to. Primero, they have to tener que. Tienes que. On the other hand, por otra parte, tenemos must. Must express like something that we consider is, is, is important or necessary. Es como, ok, mira, yo creo que tú debes hacer esto. ¿Sí? Es como un advice. O sea, tú debes, debes hacer esto. Es una, como una, algo que yo digo que, que yo pienso, que yo opino que tú debes hacerlo. No, no lo obligo, no lo impongo sino que le digo, es tu deber, es tu deber hacerlo como tal. Tienes una disposición, sino es un deber. And that's the little difference, como la pequeña diferencia que hay entre ellos dos. Y en el caso de most, no vamos a encontrar el verbo conjugado, eh, el auxiliar el, el, el conjugado, en, el caso, en este caso most no va a estar conjugado ni nada, va a ser el mismo para todos, para todos los objetos. Y mi verbo acompañante, recordemos que siempre necesito un verbo auxiliar para un verbo acompañante para que mi, para que mi verbo tenga sentido, mi relación tenga sentido, no puede ir ni conjugado, ni con ES, ni con ING. Siempre tiene que ir en su forma base. Tampoco con el tú, tampoco puede ir en infinitivo. En este caso, lo que llamamos que está ahí pegado junto al must. En el caso de la afirmación, she must do homework. Ella debe hacer la tarea. Because that's a duty as a, as, a, as a student, porque es un deber de ella como estudiante. Ella sabe que, ella, ella sabe que es un deber adquirido, entonces ella debe hacerla. She must do the homework. I don't have to tell her, hey, do your homework. You already know it. Ya lo sabe que debe hacerlo porque es un deber adquirido. Para negarlo, para decir algo que no se debe hacer como tal, decirle, hey, eso no debes hacerlo hoy, we use mustn't check. It is the most popular way. Esta es la forma más popular. Está el most, está la n, está la apóstrofe y está el t. Por lo general siempre va a estar contraído. Tenemos que las contracciones son muy populares, sobre todo en la parte de speaking, para poder expresar. They mustn't walk the dog at night. Ellos no deben sacar el perro en las noches. Por eso ellos deben hacerlo. They must walk the dog in the day, uh, in the day during the day. Durante el día es que ellos lo deben hacer. They mustn't walk the dog at night. Porque ellos no lo deben hacer en la noche. Y para las preguntas, for the questions, we use must at the beginning. Al, al inicio va must. Must she water the plants? Ella debe regar las plantas. For example, ella será que es un, ella debe hacerlo. Must she water the plants? Must she, eh, must she pay attention to the class? Será que ella debe prestar atención a clase? Must she, eh, must she eh, help at home? Será que ella debe ayudar en, a, a casa? Okay, we have the questions. Okay, guys, any question, any doubt about this, about this part, apart, sobre esta parte gramatical, preguntas o dudas? ¿O todo claro? Chicos, clear, sencillo, claro, o, o tenemos preguntas? Ahí es. Chicos, preguntas o dudas o todo claro? ¿Todo claro? El silencio me dice que todo claro. Todo claro. Short, seguros. Y el resto y los demás. 
Okay. Okay, guys, in that case, keep going. In this case, continuemos. On this part, we're going to write sentence telling which duties do you have or do you have to do at home using the example. Chicos, esta parte va a ser algo más personal. Y esta parte la vamos a hacer cada uno. Esta parte sí que aparte, esa, eso hace, hace parte del homework. André, in your case, you also have to do it. En tu caso también debes hacerlo. Creo que en la guía está asignado que debes escribir algunos, algunos deberes de, que deben hacer y que no se deben hacer en, en casa. Ok, por ejemplo, I have to clean my rooms. I usually do it on, on weekends. En ejemplo, yo tengo que limpiar mi, mi cuarto, yo tengo que ir a la tienda, I have to go to the grocery, I have to walk the dog, I have to take out the trash, tengo que sacar la basura, ¿ok? Tomamos los ejemplos y escribimos si tienen o no tienen que hacerlo, ¿vale? Now, let's listen to this audio and let's complete using most or mustn't, ¿ok? And the verbs in the word bank, and using this verb. Do you remember what is B? Chicos, recordamos que es B. ¿Qué es B? ¿Recordamos que es B? Es uno de los más populares verbs en inglés. Uno de los más populares en inglés. ¿Recordamos que es B? Chicos. Guys. No. Note. Remember to be. Cero estar. To be. Be. Cero estar. Do. What about do? ¿Qué será do? ¿Qué será do? Hacer. Hacer. Learn. What about learn? ¿Qué será learn? ¿Qué será learn? Chicos, ¿qué será learn? Learn. Anyone? ¿Alguno? El nombre se me repite. Learn. Learn. ¿Qué es learn? No, no sé, profesor. No one? Daniel, Diana, Andrés. Pero, ¿De qué están hablando? De verbos. Está haciendo una cosa, bro. ¡O fue a gongo! Está distraído. ¿De qué está hablando? Ok, Andrés, ¿y qué será, qué, qué será help? Andretti. Ni la menoría, profe. ¿Cómo? Ni la menoría. Ayudar. Chicos, be, ser, estar, do, hacer, leer, aprender, help, ayudar, ok? Now, let's listen to this audio. Vamos a escuchar este audio rápidamente para completar esta parte. ¿Listo? Unit 4, lesson 2. I have to do my duties. Page 54. Exercise 4. Complete the sentences using must or mustn't and the verbs in the word bank. Then, listen to the second part of the radio program and check your answers. All right, Liz. Thank you for sharing your problem with us. Now, other listeners can call and give Liz some advice. Yes, who's speaking? Hi, my name is Bruce. I'd like to say a few things to Liz. Are you listening to me, Liz? Yes, I am. Right, look, I strongly believe that we, teenagers, must help with the housework. It is the least we can do. Our parents have to work hard to pay for the food we eat and the education we receive. You can help them at least with the easy stuff. For example, I think that you must do the cooking and washing sometimes. And don't be so selfish. Life is not only having fun with your friends. Thanks for your comment, Bruce. We have another person on the line. Who's speaking? Hello, I'm Tina. This is my message. Liz. You mustn't be disrespectful with your parents. Why don't you speak with them and tell them how you feel instead? I'm sure they love you and they want the best for you. In my opinion, you are a little rebellious. Think about it. Yeah. You don't really have to do so many things at home. On the contrary, you are a lucky girl. I mean, cleaning your room, walking the dog, watering the plants, that's not much work after all. Thanks a lot for your opinion, Tina. So Liz, This is what we think. You must learn that in home, everybody has responsibilities. I suggest you do your duties before going out with your friends, say sorry to your parents for being disrespectful, tell them how you feel, and please, help them more often, okay? Well, I guess you're right. I must reflect on my own actions. 
Thank you for your advice. No problem. Well, we'll be right back after some important announcements. Don't go. We have more teens issues to talk about. Okay, guys. Now, let's listen again. Let's pause and let's compete. Remember that we must use most or mustn't and one of these birds. For example, must be, must do, must learn, or must help. Okay? Listen again. Please listen carefully. Complete the sentences. Now, other listeners can call and give Liz some advice. Yes? Are you speaking? Hi, my name is Bruce. I'd like to say a few things to Liz. Are you listening to me, Liz? Yes, I am. Right, look, I strongly believe that we, teenagers, must help with the housework. Teenagers? <coughs> must? Look, it's mustn't. It's, it's must, but which one is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo que lo acompaña? Must be, must do, must learn, or must help? Help! Must help, that's right must help with uh, with the housework. I strongly believe that we, teenagers, must help with the housework. Yo creo fuertemente que nosotros, los jóvenes, los adolescentes, debemos ayudar con, los, con el trabajo de casa. Okay? Check out. Listen up this advice, this advice okay? Because tengamos lo pre presente. Ayudar. Tenemos que ayudar con el trabajo en casa. No only mom, no only dad. No solamente papá y mamá. Ustedes también deben colaborar. It is a Our parents have to work hard to pay for the food we eat and the education we receive. You can help them, at least with the easy stuff. For example, I think that you must do the cooking and washing sometimes. And don't be so selfish. Life is not only having fun with your friends. Thanks for... Okay, and this part, I think that you... I think that you... Otra vez que escuché. Okay. For example, I think that you must do the cooking and washing. I think that you must work. It is the least we can do. Our parents have to work hard to pay for the food we eat and the education we receive. You can help them at least with the easy stuff. For example, I think that you must do the cooking and washing sometimes. I think that you must be. You must do or you must learn? You must be. Be, I think it's be. Be. Must do. I think that you must do the cooking and washing sometime. Yo creo que tú debes hacer, o sea, cocinar y lavar algunas veces. Okay, keep going. Liz, you must or you mustn't? And don't be so selfish. Life is not only having fun with your friends. Thanks for your comment, Bruce. We have another person on the line. Who's speaking? Hello, I'm Tina. This is my message. Liz, you mustn't be disrespectful with your parents. You mustn't? In this case, you mustn't be. That's right. You mustn't ¿Sí? be. That's right. I... You mustn't be. <laughs> listen, guys, listen. Listen again. Profe, anota Daniel está comiendo en clase. Who? Primero calle se prende la cámara. Ah. No, saco. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Que Daniel está comiendo en clase. Ok, Daniel. Pero mi hermano, se acaba de salir. Ya casi vamos a terminar, pero ahorita les pido que regresemos porque chicos, se me va a cortar la videollamada, por favor, regresamos. Para... ¿Qué? Para... Para... Acabar de explicar. página. ¿Listo? Les quito por mucho 15, 20 minutos nomás para completar la siguiente página. Entonces, por ahora... No más. No más. Tranquilo. Uy, no, eso es mucho. Hello, I'm Tina. This is my message. Liz, you mustn't be disrespectful with your parents. Why don't you speak with them and tell them how you feel instead? I'm sure they love you and they want the best for you. In my opinion, you are a little rebellious. Think about it. You don't really have to do... 